Hi, third grade. Miss Marotti here to read another story for you all. I sure am missing you guys. I hope you like this one. It's called My Light by Molly Bang. When you see the city lights at night, they look like stars have fallen down to earth. Those lights are starlight. My light. I am your sun, a golden star. You see my radiance as light. Each day I warm your land and water. Tiny drops of warm water rise and form clouds. The clouds cool down. My energy falls in rain. The water flows from streams to rivers, carrying my energy down, down, down. A dam. You humans stop the flow. My energy is trapped. Whoosh! Some water shoots down tunnels to giant turbines. Whoosh! The water spins the turbines round and round. It spins my energy to generators, which make electricity. Now my energy is in the electricity. It flows away in copper wires. The wires hum, electricity flows, pulsing, 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 my energy out to your towns and cities. Each day I shine on earth and warm the air. The warm air rises, cooler air pours in and makes the wind. Swish, swoosh, the wind pushes blades of turbines round and round, spinning my energy to generators, which make electricity. Electricity pours into copper wires and flows out to your towns and cities. Green plants catch my light and use my energy to help build leaves and stems. My energy builds each bush and flower, reed and cactus, fruit and tree. My light fuels all the plants on earth. Some of the plants are eaten. My energy flows to everything that eats them. Other plants die and are buried. Some were buried millions and millions of years ago and turned to coal. Then my energy stayed deep underground, locked inside the coal. Crunch, roar, now you humans dig up the coal. You haul it out and burn it. The fire heats the water into steam. Whoosh, the steam shoots against giant turbines which spin round and round. They send my energy to generators which make electricity. From coal-fired power plants, electricity flows in copper wires out to your towns and cities. My light falls on solar cells and charges their electrons. No turbines, no generators. Electricity streams across the cells which pour into copper wires. Electricity flows to the buildings below. When darkness falls, you turn a switch. From rushing wind and water, from burning coal, from silent solar cells, you let my energy into your room. Electricity lights the night. Inside a light bulb, a wire grows hot. It glows. Inside a fluorescent tube, a gas is energized. It glows. When you turn on lights at night, they look like stars have fallen down to earth. Those lights are energy from me, your golden star caught and transformed by your earth and by yourselves. For a moment, my light illuminates your towns and cities. Then, like the starlight from which it came, 
it fades back into space. Wow, that's a good one. When we get back to school, if you guys want to look at this book, there's a lot of information about what we just read in the back. So you can ask, hey, Miss Marathi, can I borrow that book about light? And I'll let you look at it and you can read all about the different ways that we make energy from the sun. So while we're thinking about that, I want you guys to write about it. So we are gonna think about what we just read. You guys can pause the video so that you can see this. We're gonna write, what if we did not have the sun to provide heat and light on our planet? Why is it important for living things to have the sun? So when you write your responses, write in full sentences to explain your thinking. And use examples from the book that we just read in your response. Ways that you can share your response. You can type your response or you can write it with a pencil and a piece of paper and take a picture of it. And then you can post your response in the comment box below this video, or you can send your response to your teacher by email or class dojo. Bye, hope to see you guys soon.